Today we're going to be looking at bar graphs. Bar graphs show data that can be counted. Now that can be anything from the eye color of my classmates to their favorite ice cream or candy bar, what games they play on the playground, where they play on the playground, uh, favorite subject in school, or this one is how they travel to school. So, as I'm looking at this, I have the graph, I have the data on the bottom. The questions that I asked when I polled my students, how do you walk to school? So I've got my bases covered with walking or riding their bike or scooter, taking the bus, carpooling, or just riding with their parent. So when I polled them, I got data that can be shown. So next, once I have my data, beginning of year data, walking, bike, walking, bus, carpool, with parents, I can show that on a graph. As I look at this, it goes all the way up to 14. So on my scale, which is on the left hand side, or the y axis of my bar graph, I need to make sure that I cover all of those numbers. So I have to at least cover 4 and also 14. So my scale I did from 0 up to 14. And my interval, the space between, was 2. So that I could fit everything and not make it a really tall graph. So as I'm looking at this, seven students said they walked or rode their bus. So I'm going to come up here. Seven, yeah, it doesn't have a spot, but it's right in between six and eight. So right over that. Now I'm going to make a bar because we're doing bar graphs, and I'd color that in a little bit. Next, the bus. Data shows that ten students rode the bus. So I'd come up to ten, right over there, and make a bar over the bus. Carpooling, we just had four at the beginning of the year. And then riding with the parents, we had 14. So I'd come up here, and above where it says with parent, I would draw my bar graph. Okay, now I have data that is shown in a graph. If, some, if anybody walked in and didn't know what we were doing, they could look, they see the title, how Mr. Goff's class travels to school. They would see how they travel to school, and how many traveled there. Now, that's a regular bar graph. If I want to do a double bar graph, I have the same data, the same questions that I ask, but I'm comparing two different times, such as beginning of year versus end of year. So the end of year, the numbers are different, so I want to do that in a different color. So walking went from 7 to 13. So I've come up to 13, and then make a bar off of that so that we can compare two different years. Bus also went up to 11 and I just draw that right next to the other bar. Carpooling also went up just a little bit to 5 and oh, that's almost 6 so I need to erase it a little bit and then with parent went all the way down to 6 so I'd write that over and that's a double bar graph comparing the same items with two different groups or different times. I would also have to put this in the title, How My Class Travels to School, the 2012 school year. So those are bar graphs. Single bar graphs is just in the blue. And then the double bar graphs, adding another color and new data that we've collected.